Hi, welcome to Conversations with Creatives. My name is Tanya Trotter and I'm the Communications Specialist for Create Birmingham. Today, I'm having a conversation with Jeff Nixon. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Jeff is the Sidewalk Film Festival co-producer and special event coordinator. And he's also on the board of directors at AIDS Alabama. Obviously, you have a lot of events that have been canceled, postponed, or just shifted in the past few months. Um, how's it? How's it all going, Jeff? Yeah, um, it's it's been a, a whirlwind of trying to pivot and make things happen, uh, especially for Sidewalk. We um, ended up doing a lot of drive-ins out at the summit, which have done really well on Friday and Saturday nights. Those have ended. Uh, if we get another sponsor, we'll we'll kick that back up. Um, people have just been very receptive uh, and having something to do. Um, trying to keep it somewhat kid friendly as well. Um, and uh, the as far as anything else, music wise or pride wise, everything just kind of came to a grinding halt, unfortunately. Um, so. It was, June was a very weird month not to be celebrating Pride. It, it has felt like something is missing. I mean, definitely June, I think, in Birmingham is a fun month. There's always so much going on. And I think that Pride is a big part of that. Um, mm -hmm. Last year, we did, I think, a Pride newsletter or maybe a couple. And we were staying on top of the events to our best ability, but there were so many, it was hard to cover everything. So it feels definitely like a quieter summer and a quieter June without um, all of the events surrounding Pride. Um, what do you think that um, we can do to continue to support the things that are important? Um, is there a way that we can give back in a way so that we can anticipate a really happy pride month next year. Uh, definitely support BAO and AIDS Alabama. Uh, they're still out on the forefront doing amazing work. Nothing has really stopped for either of those organizations. Um, and as far as anything else, Central Alabama Pride is still an organization. They've uh, They've kind of reconfigured everything, so hopefully they'll have a good game plan for next year. Um, and as far as celebrating Pride, uh, you know, just do it every day at this point, you know. I do feel like I, I had a conversation recently where 2020 has been so challenging for so many, but I do think that it's important to try to always find the silver linings. Mm -hmm. And so I was talking with a friend about how important I think it is to, for all of us to have had this downtime to sort of be um, introspective and spend time with our closest friends and family in smaller groups um, to be able to have the excuse to say no to over commitments. I know I'm guilty of that. And so even though there are so many concerns I associated with what's happening in our country right now, I think that some of the positive things are that we've been kind of forced to slow down and listen. And um, I think that it's just kind of like I always have this thing about like Mother's Day or Valentine's or Father's Day. You should be celebrating it all the time. So right. it gives us a chance to put into practice celebrating pride and amplifying, um, you know, voices that aren't always represented in the mainstream and looking right. for those opportunities to do that. Um, what do you have coming up at Sidewalk. I know that you'll probably be announcing um, what to expect for the year ahead soon. 
Mm -hmm. And also, I, you guys have been doing such a great job with the curbside concessions. Everybody can get their popcorn and candy fix and all of the programming that I've been seeing as far as like the bundles of movies and documentaries have been great. Are, do you have any recommendations? Um, well, all of that's online, obviously, and it changes so frequently, it's hard for me to keep up. Um, but Kiwi is our education outreach person and she's been doing some amazing classes and we still have book and film club and doing some movie bundles, as you said, that changes sometimes weekly. Um, and yes, we are um, planning something for the future that we're hoping to announce um, in the next week or so. And I think people will be very, very excited about it. Um, it's, it'll be a safe environment to have a little bit of entertainment and arts, which would be great. Oh, that is great. Well, I think that, I know I've been itching for something outside of the box to do. I think we can all only do so many online workout classes right. <laughs> and learn how to make <laughs> banana bread <laughs> in nine different right. ways. So it'll be nice. Um, my family, we're a movie family. So that used to be something that we kind of took for granted was going to the movies all together. And movies at home have been fun to um, I'm hoping that you get a new sponsor for the drive-in because I think that's such a great idea for uh, what's going on right now. It kind of lets us be together, but safely apart. And I feel like drive-ins are just kind of a classic summertime activity. It's definitely had a, a resurgence across the country. A lot of people are doing it, um, especially other film festivals around the country. Um, I have been, I'm just really proud of our team. We pulled it together really quickly and jumped on it and um, it, it worked out. And I think people are happy. I hope that with everything being shut down as it is, is that uh, trying to find the silver lining and things is that people are gonna um, be more conscious of, you know, they've missed out on the arts in the last four months now and how much they love film and live concerts and theater and ballet and all the other things that are shut down indefinitely at this point. I'm hoping that people will, you know, sink a little more money into that when it all comes back around and let's, you know, get things uh, back off the ground and support organizations who are nonprofits. And, you know, theaters like the Alabama and the Lyric have been hit really, really hard and, you know, quite honestly, they're struggling. And, you know, I, I look at the news every day and there's there's big venues around the country that are, you know, on the verge of closing and smaller music venues. And it's, it's really sad, but I think people are really gonna embrace it when it all starts back up in a safe manner. I hope so. And I think so too. I think that we're all, we're all hungry for some culture. Um, so, I play this game sometimes with friends and family members of naming your top three to five favorite movies. And since oh you God. are associated with Sidewalk, oh I thought God. maybe we could play this and oh. you could give three to five of your top favorite movies of all time. It doesn't have to be, I know Sidewalk is a very highbrow and supports beautiful independent films but they just have to be your favorites they don't have to be oscar nominated or academy award winners if it's on if it's on tv and you always watch it what are they uh if it's on tv usually the lost boys or breakfast club or something 80s oriented like that um, something a little more highbrow. I really like Lost in Translation. It's one of my favorite movies. And Requiem for a Dream, which is a little dark, but I enjoy it from time to time. Okay. Um, I would say mine are, well, The Royal Tenenbaums is my like all time favorite movie. And I uh, pretty much anything Wes Anderson is up there. Um, if it's on TV, I have to watch Forrest Gump. 
and <laughs> I love I love most things Tom Hanks and then I think just my own coming of age and also because I love some classic literature and I'm a Jane Austen fan I'm gonna say Clueless nice yeah we showed that recently and it did well as I was about also to say watched, that's got to be a crowd pleaser. <laughs> yeah. I also watch Big Fish if it's on TV because when I was living in Montgomery at the time, I was in three background scenes in the movie, the funeral scene, the scene where he's being taken down to the water, and the bank robbery scene. So I got to see a lot of that film made and see a lot of familiar faces. So it's always a fun one for me to watch. And it's a good movie. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't realize, and I grew up in Birmingham and didn't really know until I was much older also that um, sidewalk is a really big deal on a national land or in, an, in the national landscape. Um, we have a really great film festival that you guys put on. It's nationally renowned. We get some incredible films here. There are also a lot of incredible films filmed around Birmingham, obviously create Birmingham, um, oversees the regional film office. So film Birmingham. What can people expect in terms of filmmaker support through Sidewalk? I know that I've seen some grant opportunities come through. You guys have a great edu educational programming um, department. You mentioned Kiwi earlier. Mm -hmm. If you're an aspiring filmmaker or um, actor, actress, what, how can you use Sidewalk as a resource? Yeah, right now we have uh, some online content for education and uh, we also do a filmmaker happy hour that anybody can log into and uh, take part of. And it's a good way to meet other filmmakers and just talk about like-minded things. That's great. Well, and you had me at happy hour. So <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> on that note, um, I really want to tell you, thank you for your time today. Thank you for what you do through Sidewalk and AIDS Alabama. And I hope things start to turn around soon. I hope our uh, COVID rates start decreasing. And I know I'm ready to get back to uh, a city full of culture and things to do mm -hmm. and we're all wishing you guys at sidewalk the best oh well thank you so much and you guys at film birmingham do an amazing job as well so we we're all in this together so we appreciate your um your help on everything and um i hope you are doing okay as well during all this because i'm sure it's a big change for you guys so Definitely, but we're a, we're a scrappy little team and, and we love each other, a little family. So um, you guys stay safe and I will keep us posted with things that develop at Sidewalk and um, definitely any events at AIDS Alabama, we're happy to support those too. So thanks, Jeff. Thank you. We'll see you. See you. Bye. Bye.